Hey guys, welcome to the latest edition of The Muir Reflection. John from The John Muir Show here. And over the weekend, we got reports of a Sunday morning helicopter crash in the state of California that killed nine people, including NBA superstar Kobe Bryant. Uh, Reports are now indicating that weather conditions are to blame as an LAPD spokesman says that the weather at the time of the crash uh, did not meet the minimum standards for flying. So it's obviously an incredibly tragic situation. Thoughts and prayers going out to all of the loved ones of the nine individuals who were involved in this fatal crash. For me personally, it just really seems surreal. This is the first time that a celebrity death has truly felt this surreal to me. I'm sure many of you have had instances like that as well where a certain celebrity death, it was just really difficult for you to fathom. Uh, Depending on your age, it will vary who that individual might be. For me as a 27-year-old, Kobe Bryant is really the first celebrity death that is difficult to fathom. It just doesn't seem real. Uh, Of course, there have been uh, plenty of celebrities, plenty of athletes who have passed away over the years, but never once have I seen an athlete who was so transcendent during the years that I was growing up be one of those individuals who was passing away. I mean, without a doubt, Kobe Bryant was one of the best NBA players of his era, quite frankly, one of the best NBA players of all time. For me, when I was first watching basketball, and I'm not a diehard basketball fan, but I would watch NBA games when I got the chance growing up, Kobe Bryant, he was always my favorite player to watch. Quite frankly, I would argue that he was the best player of that generation. Since Michael Jordan, there has not been a player in the NBA better than Kobe Bryant. It's just so strange to think that that he had passed away, and he passed away at such a young age, uh, just being over 40 years old. I think back to the memories of watching Kobe Bryant play, and my goodness, there is nobody, there is nobody in the history of the NBA that could so consistently make some of the unrealistic shots that Kobe Bryant would make. It it almost seemed that there was no place on the court where, where Kobe Bryant could not pull up and shoot from. Some of the incredibly off balance, long distance three point shots. You'd watch Kobe Bryant take those shots, and you'd think, there, there is no way this ball's going in. What's he doing? He's totally wasting a possession right now. And then, sure enough, Kobe Bryant would make the shot. And for me, it, it ended up getting to a point where I just stopped questioning that. I was like, okay, if Kobe's going to take this shot, he might make it. He might not. But at the very least, he's confident in what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, and he knows there's at least some chance that this shot is going to go in, some realistic chance that this could get him three points. It, it was very fun to watch Kobe Bryant on the court. And like I said, it's just surreal to me that this has happened. I'm sure there are many folks out there who also are having a a difficult time just fathoming him that this actually happened, that Kobe Bryant is no longer on this earth. So certainly in in cases of death, all of them are incredibly sad. All of them are incredibly tragic as all human lives are created in God's image. So not here to downplay any other Uh, individuals who have passed away, any other celebrities who have passed away. Just noting that for me, this one, it it really took on a a different significance. It it felt different than any of the ones that I encountered in the past. And again, I'm sure many of you could relate uh, to the first time that you had heard of a, a celebrity death, whether it's an athlete, a singer, whatever it may be, where it was the first one for you that was difficult to fathom. For me, that was Kobe Bryant. So rest in peace to Kobe Bryant and, of course, all the other individuals who lost their lives during this helicopter crash yesterday in the state of California as well. It's all the time that we have for today. More of the John Muir Show each and every weekday, 8.40 a.m. on WTAQ, 9 a.m. WSAU and WHBL. Until next time, I'm out.